Okay, welcome back to Reloading Journey. Uh, this is the final video on the brass I messed up or made a mistake with. Uh, I've done three other videos. One with the wet tumbler, the pins, and the Frankfurt Arsenal, uh, their solution for washing. Um, one with corn cobs and the dry media. That was video two. Video three was back in the wet tumbler with Dawn and Lemmy Shine. Sorry, I was calling it Lemon Shine. Somebody called me out on that. I just never really looked at the looked at it and saw what it was. Um, and then this last one, I want to give a shout out to Robert Seafield. Uh, he recommended or requested or recommended uh, Walnut with Rogue Jewelry Rogue in it and jewelers rogue or jewelers rogue jewelers rogue is a very fine compound originally developed by jewelry the jewelry trade for buffering buffing god i can't read buffing precious metals uh jewelers rogue will bring out the maximum luster and a mirror-like finish in jewelry and other items made of soft uh soft metals brass definitely falls into that category of soft metals um so I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I ordered the, the uh, walnut, crushed walnuts with the Rogue embedded in it. It was a little more expensive, but I figured I'd give it a shot, give it a try. Like I said, this is, this is all we got left of that. Um, if you watch the other videos, and I'll kind of do a wrap up at the end of this one, of uh, showing each, each stage, each truck time, how they turned out. Um, and which one which one was the best so I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up we'll get this going and get it tumbling okay so here we are this is what this product looks like I'm gonna go ahead and pour in Ooh, some fine dust coming off of that so probably wear a mask see how that looks oh this is really really fine material really let's go ahead and throw the brass in turn it on if it gets too crazy i'll turn it back off and put the lid on goes you know what I think I'm gonna add some more in there uh, see if we can keep it covered more see how that does Yeah, that looks better. Definitely. I'll go ahead and move this over uh, to where I'm going to let it run at. Uh, it recommends, uh, what I read on it, it recommends you let it run uh, 5 to 15 hours. So I'm just going to let it run all day today. Maybe check on it uh, tomorrow morning. So we'll... After it's ran, I'll bring you back and we'll see how it did. I'll let you know how long I ran it for. Maybe I'll check it part way through, see what we got. Um, and we'll go from there. Okay, here we are back. Uh, it tumbled, I let it tumble all night. So it probably was about 15 hours or so. Um, really came out nice. Definitely polished as far as, I think this is one of the ones that Took it down as far as any of them. Got rid of the the most of the roughness, um, but it took forever. I checked it part way through, and it it needed all that time. Um, I will say it didn't clean the insides of the brass very well. Uh, the primer pocket holes are not 
not real clean. I mean, for being in there for 15 hours, you would think it would, they would be spotless. Um, I'm just, I know a lot of people are, I, I, I haven't seen any real great results with uh, dry tumbling. I mean, the best I've seen is with, with the wet tumbler, but this is very impressive how far it brought it back. I mean, it did smooth the outside of it very much compared to the other ones. Um, I'm going to put up some pictures now. This first picture is just showing you all of them in progression. The first one shows you uh, just how they should have looked normal. This is one that uh, is just clean right from whenever I got them. No, no damage was done to start. Second one was the first video, video one. Uh, the Frankfurt Arsenal cleaning solution and the wet tumbler with the pins. Second one, video two, was the dry tumbler with the corn cob media. I think it did about the worst. It still came back some, but about the worst. Now, what you're seeing on the bottom, I should have explained this to start. What you see on the bottom is, is a 223 case that was in that first, first uh, batch that got all scratched up. So you're seeing what they looked like to start, and then that shows the comparison. Um, the third one is the... Uh, Dawn dish soap and the Lemmy Shine um, and the wet tumbler with the pins. And I think this one came out the best, brought it closest to uh, back to back to 100%. And then the last one on the right is the um, the one we just did with the walnuts with the Jewelers Rogue in it. Um, it came out really well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and now Put them put the the basic one up against it and just run it down the first one is that like i said was the video one second one's video two video three and you can really get that comparison video three and video four get that comparison between them and see where they should have been and where where they made it back to after that so i'm gonna i'm really surprised with how they all turned out um but i will be running them all just in the limp uh dawn and lemmy lemmy shine i got in trouble for saying lemon shine uh lemmy shine and uh just bring them all back to that point and and load them and 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 blow them up so i guess that's not a good a good terminology um with that just this is this is it for that series i hope you enjoyed it um but i am working on some other videos on some different stuff and we'll go from there thanks